Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's old Pappy back with another one. Thanks for tuning in. And today we're gonna be doing a kind of a funny little video here. And it didn't start out the way I expected. And the reason for showing you this is different than I planned. And if that's enough of a mystery to keep you watching, then awesome, that's great. But anyway, I was going to do a video that basically was about how you can single-handedly win games simply by chasing down and capturing towers, right? Because this is a very interesting and unique game, very different than a lot of the other games out there, the mech games. It obviously was created by the creators of War Robots, that Pixonic company, uh, which also has towers, so there's lots of similarities to War Robots. But one of the things that I have quickly realized is that this game is set up for you to play a certain way. And as the game changes from beginning to mid game to end game, um, the way you need to play it really changes as well. Now, there is a little bit of a caveat here. There's a little bit of an asterisk. There's a little bit of a hang on, Pappy. What you talking about going on here? And that's, this is what I mean. At the beginning of the game, I got into my little Velociraptor guy here and uh, I decided I would go out and I would try to capture every single tower. That was my plan. I'm gonna cap all the towers. I'm gonna stop the other team. We're gonna beacon them out. That was the plan. Look what happened to the plan. Got myself killed. So that's fine because in this game, you can respawn and respawn and respawn and respawn and away you go, right? Like you could just keep running your Velociraptor time after time after time or whatever little tiny dino you want to use, right? I mean, that's the, that's the game. So anyway, I jump back in again. Again, this is supposed to be a video about how you can play the entire game, uh, basically in a Velociraptor, and just run around and capture towers and win. I mean, that was it. And it, at one point, look at, look at the, uh, the map on the right-hand corner of my screen. I literally have capped all four beacons. We got them all. We got them all. So this, this theoretically, it's so far so good, right? It's working, man. It's working. We're going to win this game. We're going to give this guy a little chomp. Maybe I'll give him another chomp here and tell him what's what. Um, you know, give him a little, there you go. I mean, me and my buddy gave him a little kill. I'm almost dead. I'm going to go get healed up here. And I thought to myself, things are going great. I thought to myself, Pappy, your luck has changed. Time to go get a 649 ticket. That's a, uh, I forgot, that's a lottery here in Canada. Um, time to go get a Powerball ticket if you're American or whatever kind of ticket you got if you live somewhere else. Um, you know, today's my lucky day. I, I might just go out there and just, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go and uh, enjoy my luck. Look at this. We're, whoa. Okay, hang on a second. Stop, stop, stop. Whoa, back it up. So let's take a, take a look at that map again. While I was walking around here shooting everybody and, 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 and kind of feeling good about myself, well, all these reds are appearing out of nowhere. And they suddenly are starting to cap the towers. And the other thing you're noticing here, the other thing you're noticing is that all the other little bots, all the, dang, I keep calling them bots because I play war robots. All the little dinos are starting to disappear. I mean, this guy got me here, but if you look in the background, a lot of the guys are now transitioning away from the Velociraptors and into the, their, um, their medium dinos. And so what's happening here? Well, I am starting to run into these big medium dinos and try as I might. You know, I can take a few of them down, certainly. Uh, but try as I might, I, uh, you know, I'm starting to really take a beating from these guys in these medium dinos. And all of my teammates are now starting to jump into their medium dinos. Look at that guy, that uh, Ankylosaurus guy, that Primark just gave me a whack with, my, with his tail, and I'm dead. And so I'm starting to suspect that this, look at, look at the map. All of those beacons had been blue, and now they're all red. They're all red. And so now I've, I've lost all that ground I have. Now, why is this? Because part of the reason why I do these videos isn't just to have fun. I mean, it's a great game. I enjoy just running around and shooting things and whatnot. Um, but I try, I, I, I really do try to kind of analyze the game a bit and, and help you guys get some tips and some ideas to maybe kind of better your own gameplay. And so one of the things I'm noticing right away is that if you stick in your little Velociraptor and you just keep constantly trying to go around and, um, and, and cap as many towers as you can. The problem is, is that at this stage in the game's development right now, 
um, not only are there not clans, so you can't really team up with, with teammates and say, okay, you three guys go in on, in, in your big dinos, your, your heavies, and us three are going to go in our, our lights, we'll cap beacons, and you guys defend the beacons. That's the level of strategy we may see as the game evolves. But we have to play the game that it is now and not the game that it will be someday. And so here's the two things that I quickly am realizing. Number one, um, you can't really con uh, talk with your human teammates. And the other issue is the game is populated with a lot of AI because it's early days in the game. And the AI will play the game it wants to play. It ain't going to play the game you want it to play. And so while I'm running around trying to get those towers, my AI teammates are just kind of rolling through their hangars and um, at a certain point they're just bringing out their mediums. And they're not really trying to get towers, they're just sitting there shooting people and then eventually the AI rolls out the Tyrannosauruses. And those those buggers aren't catching any t uh, towers either. They're just, they're just standing around thumping people, stomping on them, chomping on them and all that stuff. And so I actually realized that until the game changes a little bit and we can get more, more human players but also get clans working together, you cannot single-handedly win a game by trying to keep nothing but towers, right? That you just can't do it. Because while you're out there uh, scurrying and, and getting into the bushes and hiding behind rocks and zipping and bopping and doing all those things, um, you're going to get squashed. You're going to get killed by these AI and by these players on the other team in their super heavy, um, in their super heavy dinos. And the other issue is, the ground that you are capturing uh, isn't being held by your teammates, because either they're AI and they're just kind of walking around in circles doing what AI does, or they're, you know, your teammates are all in giant tyrannosauruses trying to rack up as much damage as you can, right? So, so this is why the video I was going to make turned out to be a totally different video. The video was going to be how to win every game by capping towers guaranteed, and really what it is is how to lose every game guaranteed. Because if you try to do it all yourself, if you try to do this this early in the game, um, you're going to end up being disappointed, I think. So, so what, what do you do? Well, I think what you got to do is you got to let you got to play the game the way the game wants to be played. Does that make sense? I mean, do you understand what I'm saying? You have to play the game the way the game wants to be played. The game is designed at this point for people to start off in small dinos, progress to their mediums, and then come in swinging with those big old swonker donker ones at the end, the Tyrannosauruses, the Mantises, all the big heavy dinos, the Scorchers, and all that kind of stuff. And so really, the games that I have done really, really well in, the games where I racked up the damage, the games where I, I win every single time, those are the games where I, I let the game come to me and I play the game the way it wants to be played. And I think in games like this, you're going to run into situations where you're trying to force the game to come to you, and it may not work that way. And you know what? I'm a little mad about it, so I'm going to shoot this uh, Tyrannosaurus here, and I'm going to give him a good old smack in here. Now, one of the things, there you go, got him. Um, one of the things, again, so what are some other tips I can just provide while you watch the rest of the gameplay here? Well, you know, obviously, um, you know, you want to go for the head. Um, you want to you want to time your your smacks if you got your special abilities and whatnot. Um, you know one of the other things I should say um, that's that's kind of uh, ironic and kind of a bit of a problem here is that there seems to be again a little bit of a glitch. This is something hopefully if Pixo does see this um, see this video, hopefully there is a bit of a glitch here in that look at all the people in my spawn. Right? They're all just standing there. Well, what I'm actually realizing is those are actually AI. And look up now. Look up now. All the beacons are taken. All the beacons are taken. And why did that happen? I think there's some sort of weird glitch in the game, um, which means it, in the latter stages of the game, if all the beacons are red, then the, the AI can't spawn in. And so if you look to your left here, you see them. They're all in our home spawn. Either that, they're a bunch of arseholes, and they're basically watching me try to take on an entire team by myself. Um, either or, it's the same end. It's the same end um, result. 
So what you're seeing here, there's only 20 seconds left, which is fine um, for my purposes here. Um, but uh, that is a glitch. I think that the Pixonic needs to be, I'll alert them to it and, and hopefully they can fix that. And also, of course, as, uh, as more human players get into the game, the game's going to evolve. But my final thoughts is this, is that in these early stages, these early weeks and months of the game, play the game the way the game wants to be played and you'll be just fine. Um, I don't think we're at the point now where one person can just run off willy-nilly and do it all himself and, and win that game simply by capping towers uh, because the game does not want to, you to play that way. Um, so anyway, it'll be kind of cool to see what happens in the future. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, for more uh, gameplay and tips, uh, please subscribe to my channel, hit the like, uh, tell your friends. Uh, I really appreciate it. And until next time, I'll see you on the battlefield.